Welcome to Lanyap, a program about events, issues, and people. I'm Corey Crow. I'm joined today by Lexi Cannon and Steve Burnside from Crimes of the Heart at ULM. Welcome, gang. Thanks for being with us today on Lanyap. Thank you for having us. Thank you. It's good for you to be here, and I'll start with you, uh, Stephen. The uh, ULM folks know you, you from a long time as the technical director at the theater. You've um, put on another hat. You're already the sound guy for everything, and uh, and you build all the sets. Why the heck are you jumping into directing? Um, kind of a two-part reason. It's something I've always kind of wanted to do anyway. Um, I thought I had the knack for it anyway, and I've studied it and uh, finally got this opportunity. We actually had uh, Dr. Mark Clark retired this past December, uh, who had been directing all of our straight plays um, he, and also all of our operas. But he retired in December, and um, I decided to step up as soon as I heard that and direct our spring straight play the string uh, the spring play crimes of the heart lexi cannon is with us today she plays meg in crimes of the heart what's crimes of the heart all about meg yeah so crimes of the heart was written by beth henley um and it's a play that revolves around three sisters the mcgrath sisters and they come together because um they're at the beginning of the show it opens with the youngest sister babe has shot her husband and he is this um, well-to-do state senator of Mississippi, very powerful man, and she shot him. So these sisters come together, and they're trying to figure out what to do. So um, Crimes of the Heart is all about actual crimes. Some, some, yes. wi- some women <laughs> behaving badly, it sounds like. Yes, <laughs> they do. And um, Meg... Uh, Definitely behaves badly. <laughs> um, she's got uh, the other sisters. What kind of stuff are they involved in? Oh, gosh. So, obviously, you know, Babe shoots her husband. Um, Meg has this sordid affair with a married man of color. Um, leaves him. They had had some uh, relationship stuff and an interaction years later. Um, during 69, I believe, Hurricane Camille has happened um so they were together meg throws this hurricane party thinks it's going to be fun (laughs) and uh says you know doc if you stay with me i'll marry you and then she obviously does not keep her word and she ups and leaves to go start a career as a singer in hollywood and um leaves him and he gets in an accident while dealing with all this hurricane stuff and it leaves him crippled Um, So she's dealing with all that. And then the oldest sister, Lenny, in fact, even the cast, we were joking around about this last night. Uh, Lenny doesn't do anything. She's the responsible one. (laughs) So, The um, Crimes of the Heart going on February 22nd through the 25th at ULM's Brown Theater. Is that uh, right, Stephen? Actually, it's it's in in Speaker uh, Speaker Theater. Speaker Theater at uh, ULM, which is the small theater. That's that's more fun, a little more intimate over there. Yes, I I really enjoy Speaker Theater um, for its, as we in theater say, intimacy. Um, It's a smaller theater, only has 165 seats. Um, so it's, the audience isn't that far from what's going on on the stage. Um, now speaker theater is actually attached to the side of Brown auditorium. Um, we always try and tell people where it is, uh, because people do have a hard time finding it. it Yeah. If you you just go to the front of Brown auditorium, there's a little sidewalk that leads around the left side of the building and that'll take you over to speaker theater and you can, you can park right there in front of Brown auditorium. Uh, Yes, sir. And that gets you there. This is coming up February uh, 22nd through 25th. And as you said, a small room. So, um, you're going to need a ticket and there may not be a lot of them available at this point. Right. Uh, I'm not sure how ticket sales are going. I haven't uh, gotten over to ask about that. Um, but tickets are available on Eventbrite. Um, you search for Crimes of the Heart, uh, ULM School of Visual and Performing Arts, and that'll get you to the Eventbrite page. Uh, there's also a link on the School of Visual and Performing Arts uh, website. Uh, or you can get them at the door. Uh, general public, it's $10, and high school and 
college students are free. Lexi, tell me a little bit about uh, you're a student in school here at ULM. How did you get involved in uh, this theater production? Yes, sir. Um, so I am a music major here at ULM, and um, my primary instrument is voice. I'm getting a BA in music with a concentration in communications. Um, and I'm, I'm so grateful for just all the opportunities I've had here at ULM just to get more comfortable with the stage. That's not something I really did in high school. Um, but I decided to do the straight play because I needed some acting experience. I can sing, as I like to say, I can sing my face off. Um, <laughs> but getting comfortable on stage and acting has been a new world for me. But Stephen has been great um, just working with me and, and just the rest of the cast. And it's really been a pleasure getting to do this show. You know, I can sing too. And I could act, but I can't dance. That that's a whole other problem. No, I can't do that. You either. you put all three together, and it's a it's a long day for me. Stephen, what got you? Um, I asked you a little bit about what pulled you out of the uh, the the background of all of these, where you've built all these sets and done all this work for years. Uh, what have you learned by jumping over to the director side of things? Uh, what have I learned? Um... That's a good question. Um, <laughs> I, I guess really what the biggest thing I learned is just how to work with the actors themselves. And, real, you know, I've always been able to justify actions, justify, you know, what needs to happen. And it it's what I've really learned is how to communicate that with the actors. Um, that was something new. I had always been clear in my head but trying to get what's that picture in my head out and make somebody else understand it who doesn't have my background um it, that that's per, probably the main thing that i learned from this process it's crimes of the heart it's coming up february 22nd through the 25th at speaker theater on ulm's campus uh tickets available at eventbrite and um Again, when do you guys open, Stephen? We open this Thursday, uh, February 22nd, and uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday are at 7.30, and we have a Sunday matinee at 2, at 2 p.m. You can find out more by heading to our website, kedm.org.